Carrie Jaroslow, thank you so much for being with me. I, I appreciate your being here. Oh, thanks for having me, Marianne. Well, your book really strikes a nerve. Uh, why do they always break up with me? Millions of us have had that feeling. Uh, why do they always break up with us when that's been our experience, Gary? Yeah, I asked myself that question for so many years. Um, up until my divorce, I thought I had it figured out, but what happened? He broke up with me again. And when I really looked internal, I asked, what is the one constant of this equation? And it was me. You know, I always looked at everyone else and said it was his fault. It was his problem. He was the one that did that. And I know a lot of people that do that. They look to the outside for what the problem was. But when I asked the question, why did they break up with me? That's where I got the answers that I needed. Yeah, you were the one constant, right? Mm hmm yeah. And what were the answers, Carrie? The answers were coming from a divorced family. My father, who was, who had an affair and broke up with my mother. That's what I thought relationship was. And so every relationship I got into, that's what I expected to happen. Now, it was unconscious, but that's what I expected was going to happen. And so that is what happened. So all of my actions, led to not wanting that result, but actually getting that result. You know, there's a line in The Course in Miracles that we create what we defend against. So in relationships, we're so scared of being left that we act in ways that we hope will make them not leave us. And then, as you say in your book, that can lead us to be very inauthentic, right? Absolutely, yeah. I didn't know who I was because all I wanted to do was be what I thought they wanted me to be which was ever changing. Um, and when I stepped back and really got to know who I was, got to really know through a self-care practice, through accepting all of my messy, icky feelings and judgments about myself and about others. And that's when I really started to ground into what it, who I was and who I wanted to be in relationship. I think some people would hear that and go, how do I do that? What were the, the methods that you used to get to know yourself, as you would say? Yeah. Well, for me, yoga has always been something really important. And getting on my mat, quieting my mind, and also through meditation, and then allowing the feelings to trickle up and not pushing them down, not saying, nope, I should just love myself anyway, but actually have the courage to look at those feelings, look at those just ugh, judgments that I had about myself and love myself anyway, that was monumental. Yes, because if we're just trying to hide who we really are, we're just presenting a mask. And then really, if we don't have any charity and compassion for our own imperfections, we're not going to have any charity and, and compassion for anybody else's imperfections, which means no intimacy can really happen, right? Absolutely. That's the thing about those intimate relationships is they're really reflections of what is going on within us. And so they're a great place to start. What's being shown back at me, that's what I need to look at within myself. Right. And you feel you finally got it right with the husband that you're married to? Now? I did. 13 years, two beautiful children. I know that it's possible. It's, it's, it was my dream that became my reality. And I see that with a lot of the clients that I work with when they have that courage to look within and be guided. They, they experience the same thing. They find their soulmate. Um, and so it's just something that I love to do because it's my little way that I feel like I spread love into the world. Well, we only get to keep what we give away. Mm -hmm. And you have a particular moral authority when you guide women and men through this process because you yourself have gone through the journey yourself. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very, very much. The insight uh, is very profound that it's uh, we're the ones we have to look at and how to do it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Marianne. You're welcome.